Hey guys, I'm Jesper and I created the code and I got a lot of messages from people saying how did you do that and I was trying to tell it using the, the text but didn't really work so I guess why not just make videos on how I did some stuff I'm not just gonna cover everything because that would be way too boring um, but I can show you some of the stuff I did let's just start with getting into creative here because I am still in survival just <laughs> allow cheats and then you can set yourself to game mode 1 now let's have a look this is the behind the scenes of the code it's a lot of redstone it's not that hard though it's just trial and error and then you will find out what you what you have to do to fix it but what I do want to talk about is NBT tags because spawners like these and chests and all that stuff and the command blocks they contain NBT tags these are the way uh, Minecraft stores its special data let's call it that so what this spawner is doing is not just spawning a mob it is uh, it is spawning the anvil and cake so if I break this, it will just respawn. Now, a lot of people ask me, how did you do that? Um, I use NBT edit for that. It's a mod. Just uh, look at, uh, actually there is a tutorial. I'll just put a link in the description from uh, QMagnet. He made a tutorial on how to install NBT edit. And well, yeah, just install that. And then you can do this to edit all the tags. Now, just to make sure uh, I cover everything, I'm just going to delete the spawner and I'm just going to show you how I did it. So, let's uh, I first spawn an anvil. Just grab an anvil here. And now you want to have the, the if you want to know, like, this, this got ID 145. So, if you want to see that, just hit F3 and H and if you do that it will start showing you this these numbers now let's let's just start with giving ourselves a spawner put it here there's a redstone through there actually but that, that doesn't matter okay now it is just spawning pigs we don't want it to spawn pigs we want it to spawn a falling sand how do you do that well First, you need to position. So I use this, then set my spawn point here, and just kill myself. Because if you do that and you hit MBT at me, you can see all your own tags. And then there's this tag called POS from position, and just copy that, or just use Control C. Um, why is it failed? It's weird. Okay, let's just hope he saved it and now we are just going to modify some of this stuff let's call this we don't want it to spawn pigs we want it to spawn falling sand and we want some custom tags such as the position so we'll create a new tag compound by clicking on this one and then just paste the position in there so now it's going to spawn uh, falling sand on there but you won't really see it because it spawns only once every now and then just so to edit that we can edit these tags here and now it will spawn every tick which is 20 times a second and as you can see there is sand on here only downside is that it is spawning even when I'm here so what we want to do is we want to edit the the player range so if I'm walking there it should stop spawning so let's just say wait let's just make this five or something I don't know and as you can see it only spawns when I'm here but it's actually not putting a block down that is because it needs some t more tags um, it created these spawn potentials automatically. That's just the way Minecraft works. You can delete it and edit this one, or you can edit 
spawn potentials itself but you will have to go into a lot of text so here it is properties I won't do that I'm just gonna do this add a new tag bytes called time and set it to one or more but one is good and now it is spawning the sand as you can see it's actually putting a lot of drops out there we don't want that either to happen so that's why we are gonna add a tag called oh, drop item wait what's it called drop item look if you don't know uh, what a tag is called what I usually do is go to Minecraft wiki and search for chunk format and then you can see like all the the entities and blocks so now I'm just gonna search for falling sand and then I can see that there is a tag and it's called drop item so I was right and just set it to zero so now it won't drop any oh my god those <laughs> okay so now as you can see is spawning uh, sand and not dropping an item the only downside is it is sand and we want it to be an anvil oh wow actually some stuff got into the hopper there okay so the anvil is um, got ID 145 so we'll tell him to spawn anvils instead of sand so okay well, I'm just gonna forget that so 145 and call it a tile ID. So now it will be spawning an anvil. Yep, there it is. It's an anvil. But I want it to spawn cake as well. Now you can add some more spawners there, but I think that's a bit laggy and yeah, I just don't really want that. So what you can do, now this is where the spawn potentials jump in. Basically what this is, it takes the spawn data and converts it into this spawn potentials. You'll have a lot of, you can like set, a, oh, oh, not in there. Just copy paste the tag compound and now what it's going to do, every time it spawns something, it's going to create this new, uh, it's going to change the spawn data into some other thing you put in here and then you can uh, change the weights to set it to uh, if you want it to spawn this tag a lot and this not so much then you can put it a little bit lower but first we got to uh, get the ID from cake now you might think that's 354 but that's not true because this is actually uh, the item itself Actually, if you want the, the real cake, you're gonna have to search on Minecraft Wiki again, or Minecraft Data Values is what I use, minecraftdatavalues.com. It's really handy, actually. You can just search for it, and then you'll find out that it's actually got the ID 92. So, yeah. You can see it's different. This got an item, and uh, well, they both both do the same. But so yeah, let's just set it to ninety-two, and we'll do that with this one. Ninety-two, and with this one as well. Now it's gonna spawn cake on the same position twice. It's not really useful. As you can see, it's spawning, trying to spawn cake there. And, well, yeah, there it is, cake. But we want it to spawn over here, so we're gonna take that slab again, put it on here, and now let's just go kill ourselves. Grab the position, save it, and put it in there. And we'll put it in the second tag right here because that's what the cake is. Delete this one, we don't need that anymore, and paste the new one in there. So now it is not spawning anything actually because there's still a slab over there. But now it is actually spawning. Now we need the, the second cake. So kill yourself again. And copy the position. 
and paste it in here. But this time we'll use the third tag because that's the last one we didn't edit. So now, as you can see, it is spawning an anvil in the middle. And no cake, no cake. <laughs> yeah, and there's cake. There's cake. So yeah, that's the way I do that. Um, next time I'll be showing you how to create the room disappear as well as the spawning items on the floor here or actually as well as the, the paper on there. So I'm just gonna tell you how to spawn items. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, actually I hope you learned something from it because I would love to see more maps like the code with all these mpt tags and stuff. It's, it's really good what Mojang did to Minecraft. Uh, lately with, with all that with the command blocks and stuff. It's really uh, Done a, a great job for map makers So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you next time